U.S. should ban the use of disposable plastic bags. Uh, my first claim is that plastic bags cause harm to animals. Second claim is that plastic bags waste natural resources. And the third claim is that the pollution caused by manufacturers and improper disposable. Um, many of us agree that using plastic bags has become a way of life for us. It is a known fact that plastic bags have become popular for shopping because they're cheaper and many stores find it convenient to use them instead of the paper bags. Uh, we use plastic bags because they may be stronger than the paper bags which we used earlier. We can use them uh, in sun or rain without worrying about the damage to it or its con contents. Uh, but the facts remain that they're dangerous for the planet precisely because once we're done with them, they cannot be destroyed. Though the scientists cannot tell us the exact number of years required for the degradation of plastic bags, we can safely assume that the plastic bags which were introduced in the 1960s are still around. Many supermarkets are voluntarily banning the use of the single plastic bags, but there are hundreds of others who still use them. Why should we be concerned about the use of plastic bags? Uh, the answer lies in their capacity to cause damage to the environment. The problem arises not because of their use, but their disposal, which has enormous impact on the environment. We have to remember that plastics are not biodegradable. This means that the bags remain in use for a short time. Uh, they're not removed from the surface of the earth for a long time. They will probably lie there for centuries. They contaminate the soil and the water and are responsible for killing thousands of animals who find the plastic entering their bodies through the food they eat. Animals can easily choke to death because of eating this plastic. If the discarded plastic bags find its way to oceans, we can have marine animals dying because of this contamination. Uh, we have the case of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is a collection of marine debris in the North Pacific Ocean. Uh, marine debris is nothing but litter that ends up in oceans, seas, and other large bodies of water. We, use, uh, we humans should hold ourselves responsible for the formation of this floating garbage patch in the middle of the ocean. It is a shame that 80% of the debris is coming from the land. Though the sunlight is said to be said to photodegrade the plastics, they only manage to convert them into smaller pieces. This increases the problem because the, these tiny pieces of plastics are then eaten by marine organisms, eventually killing them and destroying the marine environment. According to uh, Holly Bamford, director of NOAA's uh, Marine Debris Program, the size of the trash island on the ocean, Pacific Ocean is difficult to determine. Birds like the albatross may be feeding <coughs> the indigestible plastics to their chicks. Most of the debris may be made out of uh, discarded plastics, and the fact that they do not decompose shows they are threat to the marine life. Cleaning them is also a huge task because if nets are designed to scoop them out, we may be pulling out some of the marine animals in the process. They are so huge and occupy large areas that they are often, often referred as the islands. Uh, Bamford also claims that plastics are toxic by nature because of the colors and the chemicals used in their manufacture. We may have to consider more uh, plastic recycling and wider use of biodegradable materials so that we are able to control the formation of these garbage patches in the future. According to the numbers released by the EPA, uh, more than 380 billion pl plastic bags, sacks and wraps are consumed in the U.S. each year. Over a million bags are, used, are being used per minute worldwide. 100 billion of these bags may be shopping bags. Manufacturing these bags, are, manufacturing these bags use up a lot of natural resources. Uh, 12 million barrels of oil are required to make that many plastic bags. What is the alternative to this? To this? Uh, earlier, our parents and grandparents did not have the option of using plastics. Uh, they were using environment-friendly bags for their shopping activities. We have to consider reusing the sh shopping bags or making use of eco-friendly bags like the reusable cloth bags. Cloth bags can also be made attractive so that more people buy and use them. The government can also encourage scientists to use technology to look for ways that can develop biodegradable plastics. There, might be, there may be debates on the banning of plastics because they're now a huge industry employing thousands of workers, but we're forced to look at the negative consequences of using them. Some of the manufacturers may take objections to the laws banning plastics, 
what we may have to convince them of the necessity of such a ban. China makes uh, reusable plastic bans, so they may benefit from a ban on single-use bags. But then we too can start the same industry here. In some places, these bags can cause plugging of the drainage system and in flood-prone areas. They can only serve, the, serve to increase these problems. Creating awareness uh, of the problems using plastic bags does not seem to be working. People should be charged heavily for the disposable bags so that they're encouraged to carry their own shopping bags in the future. People have to be forced to stop using plastic bags with legislation and strict enforcement. Many non-governmental organizations have been instrumental in creating awareness of environmental hazards in using disposable bags. This does not seem to be doing much good because these bags are being used extensively worldwide given the developing and poor countries of the world. So banning the bags seems to be the only solution to the problem. Banning the bags will force people to use reusable bags since this is a global concern law banning the use of disposable bags needs to be made in every country with suitable penalties to the erring persons. Thank you.